Hi, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so we're back in the good location again today, so you're not going to have me wiggling and squiggling around. Uh, this is just going to be a normal vlog, kind of. Um, I apologise if you can hear some noise in the background. Um, my, my girls are very much awake and being a bit noisy, and there's also somebody doing something, I don't know, maybe lawn mowing. I don't think there are any lawns around here. I know what it sounds like. <laughs> it's like a slightly built up area I'm living in. That's, uh, well, I suppose there might be some grass somewhere. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> I would have, like, wait till it stops, but I, I procrastinated on doing this enough as it is. I was going to do it on the Sunday after finishing doing and uploading my last vlog. It didn't happen. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm, I, this is now the Tuesday after um, after last week's, and uh, yeah, if I don't get it done now, I'm not going to have time to, to edit it and upload it and, and everything else. It's all going to be a messy rush, and I don't want that. I, I want things to go back to being nice and easy and relaxed again, um, at least in terms of vloggies. Um, so for those of you who did watch the last one, I'm going to do a quick little update here rather than put it in the description of the video itself. Um, I'm now at the stage of looking for a solicitor, well, hopefully getting a solicitor today <laughs> so that we can move forward um, and I'm going for my mortgage application stuff on Thursday. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, fingers crossed, all progressing nicely, um, I should have a flat. But obviously, you know, there are various things that can happen, uh, nothing is guaranteed until the exchange of contracts part, and I'm not, not, not close enough to that bit yet. Um, but at the same time, yay, fingers crossed, all being good. I should be a homeowner um, in the next four to eight weeks. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> These things always end up taking longer than you think they're going to. Um, so that said, uh, let's move on to the topic for today's vlog, which I said last time was going to be glass has liquid in it. Um, and I kind of left you guys not really probably not really sure what I meant by that. Um, so I'm sure everybody's come across the idea that an optimist uh, would look at a glass and say that it was half full and, and a pessimist would look at it and say that it was half empty. Um, and, and that's sort of, you know, one way of sort of gauging those sort of, of mindsets. Um, but because I, I do know a few very pessimistic people or people who are inclined towards worst case thinking from the off, um, I've developed a sort of midline saying of my own, uh, which other people might have come up with before me, you know, because ideas are, are those kind of things that, you know, maybe I've picked it up from somewhere myself, I <laughs> don't remember, <laughs> my memory is not the most reliable thing in the world, so if I have, then I have, and you know, if not, if it's sort of an original thought, but it's probably based on other original thoughts anyway, so, um, or other people's original thoughts anyway. Um, the idea is, instead of trying to look at the glass and say, you know, either with an optimistic outlook or, or with a pessimistic outlook, just look at it and go, well, it has liquid in it, and then that liquid has the potential of, well, it has liquid and it has space in it, and they are equally important. Um, so it's not a case of looking at it and only seeing the positive or looking at it and only seeing the negative, but looking at it and seeing it as a as a whole and um, very much understanding that sometimes in certain situations um, it's not it doesn't matter quite so much if something is positive or or negative, it, it's more important as it is. 
and how you then respond to it and, and deal with it and, and, and move forward from that point and you know it's sort of very much become my sort of life's aim to yes I know I am inclined towards a more optimistic mindset um, or I'm at least inclined, inclined towards sort of trying to see things from a more balanced perspective even if more often than not I you know have like that, that sort of optimistic edge to it that sort of determination behind it I would rather solve the problem and move on than dwell on the problem um, but at the same time there are you know there are parts of me that the problem will bother me and the problem will get me down but I'm trying my hardest to sort of move past this and, and, and you know see this negative thing as something that could potentially bring about a positive thing um, and that you know just because a bad thing has happened doesn't mean that you know it's the end of the world um, it's yeah so <laughs> in those sorts of terms it'd be very easy to kind of go no I'm definitely an optimist um, but I think an optimist wouldn't necessarily see the bad thing as being a problem to begin with. I do look for problems because I want to solve problems um, and, you know, make things better. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I should say that I am an optimist because I've always tried to classify myself as a realist. I've always tried to be a more realistic person, a more grand person when it comes to my own personal view on the world. But I think even people who are realists tend to have a leaning towards optimism or pessimism and I think I lean more towards optimism um, which is why a lot of the time I will come up with big little sayings which kind of invert the, the null version of a saying um, in order to sort of you know give it a kind of different twist and, and, and allow myself to sort of think about it in a slightly different way because I want to go for that realist uh, outlook and you know the, the glass has liquid in it in in my opinion is kind of the realist's outlook um rather than going you know it's half full or half empty which is you know skewed one or the other um so yeah i i want to be a realist <laughs> i think that's the point of what i'm trying to say here i want to be a realist but i have a feeling i'm probably an optimist um, and that's not a case of, you know, <laughs> everything else that I said. I, you know, I do get down by things. I don't always see the positive in things right away, but I do try to balance out a, a situation. If something is good, if something good has happened, I try to look and, and think about it in a logical way and kind of go, well, why has this good thing happened? And, you know, how, you know, how can I utilise this situation to my advantage? And likewise, if bad things happened, I try to go, okay, why has this bad thing happened? And how can I utilise this situation to my advantage? Um, and again, I do, I do think, probably realistically, I do steer more towards being an optimist, which seems kind of bizarre, <laughs> but kind of believable at the same time. Um, you know, I, yeah. Yeah, I think I try very hard to be realist and I end up with a more optimistic mindset. Um, but saying that, trying to be a realist and trying to put things into perspective and trying to um, ground yourself allows you then to look at people who are maybe more skewed towards pessimism and try to reverse engineer what it is you do for yourself. Um, for them so that they can maybe have a slightly more realistic perspective on the situation that they're in and sometimes that's going to work and sometimes that isn't going to work um, and this this has ended up being a very sort of babbly and rambly and all over the place kind of blog um, I do apologize for that I have had a very stressful week <laughs> so my thoughts are probably not as focused as they should be um, I hope you guys have got kind of the gist of what I'm saying here which is, for me, the glass has liquid in it, is my attempt at being a realist. 
when I am more than likely probably an optimist. <laughs> All right, so, okay, uh, next time, um, the topic is going to be living alone. As you can see, we, we are staying on the train of personal stuff and not going back to the writer stuff at the moment. Um, and that's partly because I've done so many topics on writer stuff over the last year and whatever, uh, that it's nice to sort of break away from that and talk about some other things so that, you know, when I do talk about something to do with the writing, it is more focused. <laughs> um, and, and not necessarily repetitive. So yeah, next time we are going to be talking about living alone, uh, apparently. <laughs> so I hope this one has sort of made kind of sense. I apologize for it being rambly and bubbly. As I said, I've had a long and stressful week and my brain probably isn't functioning as well as it should be at this point. Never mind, it's not all I think about that. Um, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!